Hello guys, it's Raging Raptor here. I have an excellent mood at the moment because it has it is such a beautiful weather outside now. It looks like spring is coming here in Switzerland. And if you stay till the end of the video you will see two photos of the beautiful sun at the moment. But yeah, what are you for here at the moment for the 9.7 preliminary patch notes of the super test? <coughs> so what is exactly very important of 9.7? There are three big things, which two are connected to each other. And basically the Big World Engine version will be upgraded. Has it any impact for a player? No, not really. Probably some performance enhancements, but nothing much. The other two things which are really important are the French tier 2 to 5 and the French tier 9 to 10 vehicles of the new mini branch. So, what are we going to have? We have the R45, Renault 35, the FCM 36, the Samoa S45, the SR 42, and the Renault G1. These are the tanks to 2 from tier 2 to tier 5. And you see that the FCM 36 is a tier 3 tank and the Renault 45 a tier 2 tank. As far as I got that right. Then, of course, the tier 9 and tier 10 vehicles, the Amex 30 prototype and the Amex 30B, both tanks I'm really looking forward to. And it is 99% sure that you will, can, that you can research them from the Amex 3090. So guys, if you have a 3090, just keep up some experience for this tank. Then what is also important, Super Tester will receive new tests, uh, new tanks for testing. The FV201, A45, the, um, how should I say, the funny Schiemturian, then the 88cm Krupp Steyr Waffenträger, and the Object 244, or also called IS-5. I did to all of these vehicles a video, so I will leave a link in the description below. Then the following tanks were reworked to HD. The IS-4, which is definitely not that what they showed us in a tech demo with side scotch which were moving. The Jack Panzer E100, my favorite tank, which I am also really looking forward. The Panzerkampfwagen 4, uh, Panzerkampfwagen 4 Ausführung H. Well, it was the first tank in 9.0, I think, which was reworked, but it didn't got an HD model. The ELC AMX, which I'm also really looking forward to because the ELC AMX is a great tank. Then we finally get the E100 and already an HD model is ready, the one of the T26 E4 Super Pershing, but it won't be in the Super Test, because we don't know. Then they added a new map called Overlord and this is basically a thing which should honor the D-Day. Then the Live Oaks map was rebalanced and effects on were improved on the following maps Karelia, Westfield, El Halouf and Airfield. These are what is at the moment. There are also some bug fixes, which is the most important one that there was a fail or a bug in the calculation of HE shell against based armor that it counted as real armor and so could kill crew members. But we know how flawless the wargaming logic is. Also, what should be in the test patch notes is three new tanks, which are the Cromwell Berlin, the IS-2 for the Russians, and the IS-122S. These three tanks will mostly be something for an event where they will celebrate this, um, what was it, 70 years, for, um, 70 years, um, till the end of the World War II. And, yeah, more information, more information will come. Um, there's only speculations and we don't really know if we can keep these tanks. And I really have to say, as I saw in the pictures, all three tanks look really great modeled. And I have to say, the, the, the degree of detail is really great. But yeah, we will see that coming. Um, 
else, thanks guys for watching. Here you have your your two pictures, which I already said. Um, don't forget to subscribe for the latest World of Tanks news. And um, don't forget to comment on my 500 subs subscriber special video, your questions about myself. Because I want to do a, not, a more like questions and answers video. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great weekend. And as always, good luck on the battlefield.